try on the blue skirt, pink top, and high heels first. That blue thing was a skirt? I thought it was a belt. It's the Ultra Mini. Guys love it. Whether you call it the Ultra Mini, the Micro Mini, or the belt skirt, the effect remains the same. And that's to give the wearer legs from here to Timbuktu. It accentuated curves and left parents all around the world blushing. The belt skirt boasted a sultry low-cut waistline paired with a hemline that left nothing to the imagination. The coveted skirts were an early 2000s staple, popularized by celebrities who graced any and every relevant red carpet event, whose names lived nearly permanently on the juiciest gossip tabloids. From singers and pop stars who turned everything they wore into a wardrobe must-have, to supermodels who ran the runway with their neck-breaking struts, showing off designer pieces even the average next-door girl coveted for themselves. Belt skirts managed to win the hearts of many, regardless of culture, creed, and background, with some opting to leave it to socialites and pop stars due to the sheer panache required to pull off the teeny weeny fits in public, most opted to take these thigh grazers a nighttime go-to fit that could either be dressed up or down. Brands quickly churned out the micro minis in flattering designs and slightly varied lengths to capture the hearts of as many people as possible. From Chanel to DKNY to Von Dutch to Abercrombie and Fitch, every designer clamored at the trend to try and create as many of the jaw-dropping fashion item as possible. The options included but were not limited to ruffled skirts, pleated skirts, crimped and straight lace designs, among many others. They came in denim, silk, khaki, velour, and nearly any other fabric in between. If it was cute, it could be turned into a skirt. Though the micro mini was short but wearable enough to pull off in public, the belt skirt left very little to the imagination. You would have to possibly have carried yourself with the grace of a goddess just to avoid any cheeky situations. <laughs> We can totally see your underwear. Shut it. By the year 2005, nearly anyone who religiously kept up with fashion trends had a pair in their closet. With early 2000s icons like Nicole and Paris showing off their wide array of the said skirt in different designs, to Lilo and Blue Cantrell and even Fergie. You name them, they wore it. For the quote unquote less adventurous girls, a tad bit of fabric was added to the micro mini just to make it comfortable for them and to fit their brand a little bit more. The style was still pretty iconic. Regardless of the sudden boom and interest in the trend, in the early 2000s, some of these iconic pieces weren't at all new to fashion. In the mid to late 90s, supermodels like Naomi Campbell and Kate Moss, just to name a few, had already graced the runway, sporting some of these iconic pieces. In some instances, they were also spotted on red carpets and after parties rocking these looks paired with the hottest designer shoes to boot. Kate Moss, Naomi, and Giselle Bunchen, just to name a few, pulled some of the most jaw-dropping fits with Giselle opting for a sparkly sheer nude top and silver strappy heels with her faded olive green micro mini and nothing but a flip phone in hand as a perfect, super functional accessory. This staple was pretty hard to mess up and when choosing an outfit, you had to make an attempt to really intentionally fuss it up. The pleated denim micro mini was a fan favorite and flew off the racks with every shipment to any department store, designer or not. Now, forever one of the most talked about looks, however, will remain the belt skirt which Christina Aguilera wore while she graced the MTV Video Music Awards in 2002. Please welcome Christina Aguilera. When she stepped on stage with her signature bleach blonde hair with black highlights, 
and that outfit to boot, she shut the whole stage down. Her ability to pull the fit off gracefully forever changed any negative connotation left in the desire to own and rock the belt skirt. Regardless of point of view, most people agreed that the wearer of said skirt would always have the final say on public perception of quote unquote skimpy outfits. She simply took the fashion statement to a whole new level and secured the micro mini as an early 2000s staple for ages to come. With a sudden resurgence, the micro mini is making its rounds and its way back into our lives for another time and I for one would love a pair or two of the denim patched and pleated versions. Who do you think wore it best? And would you or have you ever won one yourself? Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.